just tuning in. We're doing John Tron Starcade episode five, The Phantom Menace Games. Okay. The Phantom Menace Games by John Tron. The Phantom Menace, which is a Star Wars movie that you may have seen a little bit of. You said in the past that there's one of the prequels that you kind of saw back in the day, maybe a little bit. I don't know. This is uh, the one that I saw. It had um, Natalie Portman in it. And Jar Jar Binks. And Jar Jar Binks. Yes. And they were those little mouthpiece things, and I thought that was so cool. So you've seen a little bit of The Phantom Menace. It was very young. And that was one that got a whole, whole lot of shit. Really? From Star Wars fans. Oh, yeah. Because you got to think, for the longest time, Star Wars had been A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, and then, like, from the 80s on, Yeah, like 20 years of nothing. So then, you know, the year 2000 rolls around, and it's about time for some more Star Wars to happen. And then we get The Phantom Menace, and I was pretty young Mm -hmm. and a huge fan of Episode One. So you had already watched the other Star Wars? Oh, yeah. Before this one came out. So, you know, I've sort of... Well, they re-released and digitally remastered the original three and released them in 1997, 98. Like, leading up to Star Wars Episode One, they redid and re-released all the older ones. And so I had watched them in theaters... Hot as hell, excited for the Phantom Menace, and I know a lot of the fan base back then was like, "What the actual fuck Why? is Jar Jar Binks?" Oh well, Jar Jar what, Binks. I know a what, lot of people don't like Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, and what I mean, they had huge problems with the Phantom Menace, but people that are my age usually are a huge fan of it, yeah, and don't have any problem with it uh, and think it's great. Okay. So. I'm excited to see this episode because it pulls up my nostalgic heartstrings. Yeah. This is John Star John Starcade. John, John Tron Starcade episode five, The Phantom Menace. Let's check it out. Okay. Star Wars Episode One, a film mm. that famously lives in infamy. And I do mean infamy. From Gungans to Midichlorians, I think it's safe to say this movie spawned more social outrage than the burning of the Great Library of Alexandria. And that was real bad. All my favorite books got burned up in that. Like this coloring book, for example. Mustaches <laughs> of the former Soviet Union. What? Comes with the crayon brown. Better not color outside the lines, or else Papa will have to go back to a concrete hole in the ground. <laughs> when people were watching this film, they had to have been saying to themselves, I wish I could experience this for myself. I wish I could be there. Little did they know, their wish was already granted. Hell this yeah. Is Star Wars, Episode 1. Dude, I love Phantom this Menace game. For PS1. Okay. It's kind of rare to get a game like this. It's not some spin off, it's actually just Star Wars, Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. And yeah, yeah, it pretty much is just a scene by scene in the spirit of the movie, but obviously there are some deviations. First most glaring difference, of course, being the inclusion of wobbly, pixely chimp face. <laughs> Not that I have anything against that, it's just that you're all absolutely bone-chillingly deformed. Mm-hmm. What is that gas coming out of the floor? It is excess steam from our troublesome ventilation system. Hmm, that's interesting, because it looks an awful lot like poison to me. I apologize for any discomfort. No, you don't, you son of a bitch. <laughs> this game would have been fun had it not been for the vomit-inducing top-down angle that is at a... Oh my god, I hate it. I loved it's it. It's hard to tell where or what anything is, and if you do find out what to do, you'll still have the nausea to deal with. Oh my god, I, what is going on that way? Yeah, I don't want to have anything to do with that, Obi-Wan. Let's take path number two. <laughs> Holy shit! Yep. <laughs> Obi-Wan, you gonna be alright, bro? You gonna be able to walk that one off? So this is canon then, yeah? How'd they get him back together for episodes two and three? Yeah. Misa clumsy, but Misa still have. Oh, Jar Jar, you're so quirky and lovable. Follow me, sir. You should do it grand. Anything for you, buddy. Let's go. Oh, no! Jar Jar, run! <laughs> oh. Oh. Jar Jar has been killed. We hardly knew you before you were viciously murdered by an actual firing squad in an official Star Wars game. For real. 
Most of this game is just traversing the landscapes of the film with familiar characters. It's a bit slow and clunky at times, but I've played much worse. I do find it interesting that they tried to do a scene by scene, but I don't know that it works. Which events happened then? The ones in the movie or the ones in this game? Split timeline much? The graphics are generally appealing for PS1 though, and the environments are varied, so... Eh, whatever, I'll give it a pass. Next up, we have Jedi Power Battles, where Sam Jackson looks like he just encountered a large spider, and Obi-Wan looks like he's listening to his friend's parents fight during an awkward <laughs> family dinner. I work, I work, I vacuum, I do what I do. You can choose from all your favorite characters. I like this one also. Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon Jinn, and... <laughs> what, you don't know who this guy is here? You've been living under a rock or something? Like, probably he is, because he's a godforsaken creature of the night? At first glance, I'm not exactly sure what the difference is between this and the last game. It looks and plays very similarly, but I can say this one is definitely a lot less disorienting. Yeah. It's got a much better field of view. I suppose this game could be described as more arcade-like in nature. Mm -hmm. There are some minor platforming elements mixed in, but it's mostly just about dismembering your enemies in style. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Yoda? Something funny? Something you want to share with the class? Oh my god. You're laughing at me? So what? I'm, funny <laughs> I'm a funny guy just because I'm dressed like a clown? Why is this being out of never gone either! There also exists some Flash games about the prequels. I couldn't find any worth mentioning on episode one, but there are a few based off Revenge of the Sith. The first just one like being the called Joker. Jedi vs. Mm. Jedi, Blades of Light. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I'm sorry! I didn't mean to interrupt you boys! I can see you're busy! <laughs> Obi-Wan! Anakin! Do you not remember your days of friendship? What has brought you to such savage violence? I can't look! Occasionally one of them will fall over like a child and then get back up. Come on guys, play clean. Keep it above the belt. Don't make me come in there. Well, there is actually a reason this all looks so strange. These flash games are based figures. on a marketing campaign around Toys for Episode yeah. 3. To animate this, it looks like they pose the actual toys in stop motion. You no, know, like this thing they're standing on here even, in the background. You can actually buy that. It comes with the orange goo and everything. <laughs> oh my God. While we're already looking at these weird flash games, there's another one that ties in with the toys. Revenge of the Sith Scene Bot. I think it's actually supposed to be called George Lucas Special Edition Simulator. Why make one movie when you can just keep adding to the same one forever? Just put, just put that there. One here. More. More. <laughs> it must be perfect. Never clean! Never clean! The past never happened! I'm in control of my life! But I know what you're saying. Where's the guy gonna get a Gungan game, huh? Gungan well, Frontier? Now, I've never Gungan seen Frontier this. Gungan Frontier is here for you. Which Ayusa will help us? Hmm. <laughs> Is a hard choice, given that both the prospective candidates seem to have contracted a bad case of rigor mortis. <laughs> you shall be needing to know bombard many things to make Wisa a new home on the moon. Oh. The moon! The moon! <laughs> I want to scale back your expectations a little bit. Who's that gonna be? Oh, come on, man. Have some patience already. Who do I look like to you, Buzz Aldrin? This, <laughs> this takes a decent amount of planning. I don't even know where to start. Misa give you a sacred wise creature, holder of much knowledge. What? The Grish. No, that's all right. I think you can hold on to that. You know, I'm not going to think twice about it. It looks okay, like that thing what is from the sky from Joe Dirt. It's a crash. big poop ball. Did not ask for him. From that's outer good, space. Though. Yeah. All right, let's, ooh, that guy is bigger than described on the, uh, the ledger there. Okay, let's get two of those guys. Maybe they'll make a family. All right, what's the crest? Oh, God! Please tell me that's the only time oh, that God. happens. All right, Ronto, he's pretty nice. Whatever. Aww. Brought a good tree. Very, very... It's a healthy tree. Okay. I do not... I really... I do not know what is going on here. That is... This is something else. Oh, who was that? Oh, come on, Jar Jar. Leave me alone for a second, all right? I'm over here trying to plant your dad a new moon. Listen, uh, this game is great with all its uh, putting trees down and the Kobe's, but it doesn't really hold a candle to my personal favorite Gungan adventure slash spiritual experience. Yeah, I don't know if I would jar, like jar, this. Jar Jar Jar. Oh sh! Here we go. Ugh. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get it this time. What the fuck is this? <gasps> uh, poor little guy he can never get that jar open. 
But what about the art of the pod race? To the dismay of some, it played a huge part in the first prequel movie. I always loved pod racing. In fact, I think of all the scenes in the prequel trilogy, Anakin's pod race against Sebulba is easily my favorite. Each pod racer is built uniquely for the character designated to it, so there's a very visceral sense of tension Hell and yeah. imminent danger that adds to the drama. At any moment, your favorite player could be torn to shreds. And that's really what we all want deep down, isn't it? No. Wow. I can do this all day. It's amazing. <laughs> what the fuck? This is episode one racer for the yes! episode four. Love this game. I don't know game. why they called it racer and not pod racer. I guess they thought people would associate pods with peas, and let's face it, no one likes those things. Look no. at this peas is shit. I, I like peas. It's hard to squish the frozen ones. I can't, I can't do it. Now I remember, in this game, you got to buy pieces from Watto to improve your pod racer. You know, that's Watto, right. the blue guy that looked like if Gonzo from the Muppets had sex with Jeff Goldblum <laughs> from the fly. <laughs> oh, God, get it out of my head. Life finds a way. <laughs> the fly scarred me as a child. I say, I don't know. Maybe it's got something to do with the fact that it sounds like you're about to take yourself out back and go drink bleach. The oh, feeling of shit. speed they were able to accomplish here was impressive, given that it was N64. Such a fun were game. Tight too. It felt like an accurate recreation of a pod race, which I'm assuming is what they were going for. And not to mention, there were tons of awesome locations to race in and a multitude of racers to choose from. Yep. I think it's safe to say. I love this one. Oh, looks like Anakin won't be making it to Episode 2 after all. They also made a Game Boy Color version of this that yes, opened they up a did. sweet remix of Duel of the Fates. The game itself isn't much to write home about, though. It's okay. Ah, uh, yes. So I this is the sound that of true death. noise. Well, I guess that's it. That's all of them. Tune in next time. Racer's Revenge. Super Bombad Racing. Ah, Super Bombad Racing, yep. That can't be good. It's kind of like a Mario Kart clone. What is going on here? What's a bomb bad? I don't know who was in charge of this, but they are clearly an unrecognized genius. You had like all the Star Wars lexicon and you chose this? You went with bomb bad. Is that some sort of artistic thing you guys got going on here? Don't want to be too cliche? No, it's all good really. You guys just keep doing you. No, but I can't move past this part because what's a bomb bad? Is it this thing Jar Jar's riding on? Is that a bomb bad? Well, no, actually, because that's what's known as a tri-bubble bongo. See, I've done my research. <laughs> I took to the internet to see what a bombat could be, after all, and it turns out bombad may refer to the Gungan word for superb. So this game's oh, title literally translates go. to super superb racing. What can I say? That's pretty super superb in itself. Stink away! Stop it, come on. Why are you looking at me like that? I, I thought it was an okay game. This a Boston be happy to see you this again. This is very, very bad. <laughs> I didn't see it going here, but okay. <laughs> Holy shit. I remember just because I was so young, What you said it come out in the year 2000? Yeah, it was 99. Okay, so if it was 99, I'm just going to say 2000 because I watched it at my grandma's house mm -hmm. on VHS. Yes. So I'm going to say maybe 2000, 2001 mm -hmm. maybe even? Yeah. I don't even know. So I would have been like seven, maybe. Right. Like mm -hmm. six or seven, somewhere in between there. Yeah. And I just thought, Jar Jar Binks is so cute, and he's so funny, and I like him. <laughs> well, that was, I think, a big part of because I was like a kid. the gripe was that, oh, they're trying to make this for for babies, babies, and bring a Barney character, yeah. like a yeah. But it's just like, dude, get the fuck over it. Like, it makes sense that if you go around the galaxy, there's going to be Different certain creatures characters. that are goofy yeah. and, and and whimsical, and not everything has to be, you know, force choked to death, like cut in half lightsaber battles like 
there's gonna be different things. So I don't really, I never really had a problem with Jar Jar. Maybe when I like, whenever we rewatch that one, because I mean, I literally haven't watched it in twenty four years. It's been a while. Uh, um, I might feel differently. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, we'll we'll check it out. Um, but yeah, I I really enjoyed most of the games that are on this list. I did not play the one where you go to the moon to colonize it for the Gungans. I never played that yeah. one. But all the rest of them I played, including Bombad Racing, and I thought that they were really fun. There's actually uh, uh, Star Wars Racer Revenge, I think is the name of it, and it's like a PlayStation 2 game where you do pod racing again. There's a sequel to the pod racing game, which is actually fun and unrecognized really because mm. they even remade the episode one racer game for the switch which i have on the switch and uh which i was excited about but uh star wars racers revenge i felt like nobody talks about it's underplayed and it's actually a really good game so i was hoping he would mention it in this one but other than that a great review by john tron the starcade series has been a lot of fun i'm glad you guys recommended it to us thank you so much for that yeah. um so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction and we'll see you in the next see one see you guys